welcome to another episode of Chinese Bites. Here around the corner in Walthamstow Central, you can find traditional and authentic Uyghur's cuisine from Northwest China being served up here at this restaurant. Traditional Uyghur's cooking is influenced by the old Silk Road trading route, which is a real melting pot of flavours, influenced by Persian, Turkish, Mongolian and even Chinese flavours. Lamb, beef and chicken are really popular meats in this traditional cuisine and they're often paired back with things such as apricots, raisins, potatoes and all these different spices. And if you really want to be traditional, you can add in a splash of horse milk. So the husband and wife team here at Etlers combines all these different flavours to produce a really traditional Uyghur menu. So we're in the kitchen and we're about to see the big plate chicken prepared. We've got ingredients in there including the chicken, potato, red peppers, green peppers, leek, ginger and garlic. So we've got the head chef just preparing the pan, getting the oil nice and hot. Adding in a lovely amount of sugar in there just to give that real sweetness to the dish. So now that sugar is all really hot and melted, we're adding in the key ingredient of the chicken. Wow, just look at how that sugar really caramelizes the chicken. Looks amazing. So now we're just adding in the second main ingredient and that's the potatoes. So here we've got the tomatoes and the red pepper just mixed together to give a really nice base to the dish. The chef's just adding in some water in there just to loosen up the dish. The chef's just adding in those real fireworks of all of that dried chilli. So now we're just going to add in some of the key spices. We've got the cassia bark, which is really fragrant and aromatic, kind of similar to cinnamon, but not as strong. Then you've got the bay leaves, and then also some star anise. So that stew is cooking away, getting really thick and gorgeous, bringing out all of the flavors. And that'll be a total of seven minutes and then it's ready to get to the plate. So added in the dish, we've got the white pepper, we've got the salt, we've got chicken stock, the light soya sauce. So now we're gonna add in all like the gorgeous fresh ingredients. We've got the peppers in there, the ginger, the garlic and the leeks. So now we've got the gorgeous wife of the head chef here at Etlers, and now we're just like hand stretching and pulling the noodles in a really traditional way. They're like a lot thicker and like flatter than your traditional type of noodles. Just chicken stew on top of the noodles. It looks gorgeous and hearty, just perfect for this cold wintry weather. So now I can see why they really do call it the big plate chicken. I mean, it's a feast, it's gorgeous. And I can see all the different colours. You've got the chicken, the gorgeous sort of like cream and colored noodles, the peppers, the, like the chilies. I just, I can't wait to try it. Let's get stuck in. It's gorgeous, it's just like, Looks like a really nice hearty meal, perfect for this time of year. All right, let's give this a go. Mm. The chicken is so soft, it just melts off the bone. Um, it's a really nice like aromatic spices in the background that like, gives it a little bit of heat as a chili. And I can taste that um, cassia bark as well. It's not too strong, it's quite nice. Mm. That chicken is gorgeous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. 
and the potato as well. I mean, these guys are giving my grandma's chicken stew a run for their money. Well, what an amazing restaurant and a gorgeous and homely feel for husband and wife team. Really enjoyed myself and I'm so stuffed, I don't think I'm going to eat again. But join us next week in Soho, we're going to the Bun House and Tea Rooms. And if you're really enjoying our series, please like, comment and share.